<laughs> yeah. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Uh, yeah, the, the semester's over. Classes are over. I'm here playing Mass Effect, a franchise I've never gotten into, but always heard was pretty good until Andromeda, that is. Um, hmm. What? I guess I don't know what to expect, really. I know uh, a lot of romance options, and some of my friends are upset that you can't, like, date the big red guy, which is unfortunate, but I'm sure we'll still have fun anyway. Anyway, um, where do I want to put the camera? Yeah, let's put it right there. Okay, cool. So, let's take a look. Uh, is there an example of that? Let's keep it small for now. Make sure vibrations on, give me feedback. Sure, why not? Screw it. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I should mention that uh, because I'm using PlayStation now instead of my laptop, that there is a 40 subscriber uh, goal on 40 subscriber I will do another Lego build stream I haven't decided what Lego I'm gonna build my last Lego build stream was a um, AT AT Lego which is pretty cool uh, check that out it's a 30 30 subscriber celebration stream the last person to follow me was Stacy's failure thank you so much appreciate it appreciate everyone following uh, gonna get started in a second here just gotta Take a look at this last message and then we'll get going. Alright, here we go. I have no idea what to expect. I've played a lot of sci fi games a lot recently. Should probably change it up a little bit. That thing looks weird. Oh, is that the loading screen? Okay, cool. Damn, this game is 2007. Oh. No trophies yet. Why not? Um, favorite quality, favorite frame rate. Oh, what's the highest frame rate this game gets to? I guess. We'll do frame rate for... I mean, I don't expect it to be that. Ooh. Oh yeah, not on this TV, unfortunately. What am I supposed to do? Oh, until I can barely see the thing, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I'll learn this in the game. Uh, difficulty no. What is this? Uh, ooh. Used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. XP and talent points progression remain the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Uh, I guess let's just do the new stuff. Ooh. Only use defensive powers to protect themselves or others. Squad AI will use all available talents. Not use any talents unless ordered by the player. Sure, let's do that, because then I can tell them to be offensive, I think. Subtitles are on. Yeah, we can leave the tutorials on. Difficulty... Most enemies have special protection. Boss is scaled up based on player's level. Some enemies have special protection. Let's do normal and see if we feel like shit, that later. Anyway. Let's get started. Welcome to Alliance here. Military Database. Classified information requested. Mm, classified. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Sweet. Oh man. You always see mail. <sighs> Sorry, touch the mic. I always wanted her. 
I feel like for Cyberpunk, I'll do Jane Shepard, so I will just do... Or not Jane Shepard, for Cyberpunk, I was gonna do female V, so I might do male Shepard here. Maybe I should switch that, maybe I should do female... G female Shepard, and then male V when I do Cyberpunk. Mm. Ooh, enter new ID. Oh, let's do that. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, let's do custom female. Actually, please log in to access your profile. Oh, well. Wait, 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 wait. Custom female. Let's Please log in to access your profile. Oh. Oh, yeah, we did it. I didn't... Oh, I thought it was going to be... I thought we could... Warning. Data corruption structure. detected. Please reconstruct profile. Oh, okay, great. Confirm pre-service history. Oh, sweet. Okay. Wait, let's go back. Let's just do... Please log in to access your profile. Confirm your ID card to CDR Jane Shepard Alliance Marine. Please log in to access your profile. I'm so confused. Manually enter career info physical stats into the new Normandy crew database. Okay. Hmm. Jump right into the game as female soldier. Alright, let's do that. Right, right, right. If her Please name is Jane, I feel like Jane is fine. Warning. Data corruption detected. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Please reconstruct profile. I'm gonna get indecisive with this. Confirm pre-service history. Okay. Both of your parents were born in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as a transfer from post to post, posing, never staying in one location. Uh, age of 18. Mm, okay. You were born and raised in Mindoir, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided the Mindur, slaughtering your family. Oh man. You were saved by passing a life patrol, and you enlisted in the military a few years later. Mm, Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you were t turned 18. Ooh. So, like, the dude who's like. Super military? Dude who's military by it. Let's do... Let's do Spacer, because it seems like this guy knows his stuff around the universe. Confirm like valuable, psychological right? profile. Possibly. Titty Shepherd, <laughs> Luis, what are you talking about? That's funny. Okay, uh, let me pop out this chat so that I can get a better view of it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Okay, so physiological profile. During your service, a mission you were went horribly wrong. Oops, trapped in an extreme survival situation. You had to overcome physical torment. Ooh, jeez. Uh. Okay, well that kind of sucks. War hero. Hmm. Early in the military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risk your own life to save the fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the possible odds. Earned you medals. Haha, this guy is a winner. Ruthless. During your military career, you have held fast in one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculated, and brutal. Just like in real life. Take it. <laughs> your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Wow, I really need to shave, Jesus. Oh well. Uh, Soul Survivor sounds depressing. War Hero sounds... Kinda... Cocky, so we'll just go with... Ruthless? Confirm yeah, that's fine. Military specialization. Oh my god. <laughs> Soldiers combat specialists ideal for front lines in a firefight. Um, Soldiers have improved health, specialized use in all weapon types. Nice. Start with the ability to wear medium armor and can train in the use of heavy armor. Mm. Engineer, tech specialist, use a holographic omni tool. Ooh, I might have to pick this guy because I am an engineer. Uh, 
Absorb any weapons or shields, heal their squad. Oh, wow. Engineers can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, oh, oh the characters changed, too. Okay, so there's armor. Adept. Oh, wow. Biotic specialist. Through upgradable implants. They can use biotic powers. Lift and throw objects. Shield the squad. Disable or destroy enemies. Huh. Can only wear light armor. They specialize in pistols. Stop specializing in pistols, people. Ooh. Combine combat tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Hey. Are trained to use omni tools, focus on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Okay, that sounds pretty neat. Sentinels. Okay, combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities to advance healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. Mm -hmm. They are most effective at tech and biotics in terms of their classes, but the exercise of combat sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. Boo! Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. Okay, the guy with the sniper rifle sounds the most interesting to me. But the lack of heavy armor is good. Oh, well, medium armor. What is this guy? Medium training the use of heavy armor. The first one sounds pretty good because of the armor thing, but I also want to be able to heal people, I think, right? Luis, what are your thoughts on this? Come on. I know you're there. Shotguns sound cool, but... I feel like I can edit this later somewhat. But magic powers... Can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. I hate that they specialize in pistols. Get the force! You think so? Combined biotic, they only wear... They, okay, combined biotics are weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. Alright, we'll do the we'll do the wizard, I guess. Confirm facial identification. Uh Yeah, let's let's, let's change her around a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Set it from there. Whoa. Looks just like you get out of here. <laughs> Alright, that one's fine. Oh, skin tone. Mm -hmm. Pale white. Whoa, red. Whoa. Now, I want something that I can, like, enjoy looking at for the whole campaign. Goth white is fine. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. My friend Aaron. One of those hella look like Casey Anthony. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> is it this one? I hope it's not this one. Anyway, oh, oh, I can make you look around. Look to left. Okay, all right. That's a little weird. Okay. Oh, wow, neck thickness. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Face size, what does that mean? Oh, that's what that means. I hate the beeps when I hit the end. Alan racist. No, I'm not. What the hell? <laughs> that was your game. Yep, that was your game a few days ago, Shenmue. They're your, your people. <laughs> Shenmue had some light racism going on that I was not expecting. <laughs> this sounds fine. She quit. Oh my god, just a... Yeah. Okay. Cheekbones. Oh. Cheek. 
cheek gaunt? My friend Aaron. Yeah, that game is hella racist. Like, where did that shit come from? Sugar Come With Dreams. Do you know anything? Do you know anything about Chinese people? Wait, wait, Luis, have you played Shenmue before? Or is it just widely known that it's somewhat racist? I think that's fine. I can't even see her ears. Okay, I gotta change the hair first. Wait, what's going on with jaw? We'll get back to that. Let's change the hair first. Dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's a meme? It's really a meme? I had no idea that was a meme. My friend Aaron, I'm looking for Chinese people. Check the only Chinese restaurant in town. Surely they all work there. Yeah, right? That's like, that game was weird. I mean, I liked a lot of what was going on technically, but the, the story so far was pretty weird. I've heard really high praise of Shenmue franchise, but that was not uh, giving me really good vibes. I do like that hair. That hair looked pretty good. No. No, no, uh, no, no, cannot, cannot agree. Uh, oh, I, I cannot, I'm sorry. Sorry, no, someone knocked on my door. I'm pretty sure it was Jenna that knocked on my door. Uh, a hair? My friend Aaron. It's hella goofy, but I'm enjoying it like way too much, probably because of the alcohol. Yeah, dude, you were kind of, you were pretty, you got plastered. No, you didn't get plastered, but you were drunk. Um, let's do that. That's fine. I like that. Brow. Oh, eyebrows. Okay, I could have just said eyebrows. Jeez. None of these are great, personally. Maybe I just gotta edit her face a little bit. That kind of works. It's gotta match. Wait, no. Hmm. I mean, they're in space. That sounds cool, right? Purple? No, it's too gothy. That's fine. I think that's fine. That match. Where's a matching color? That match? I guess that matches, right? Okay. What do you guys think? I think it's fine. We're gonna keep going. Uh, back to the head. Oh, ear stuff. Hey, your ears can be pressed out a little bit. Okay, eyes. Oh, whoa. <laughs> she laughed. Okay. Look, that did not look great. Let's do that one. Mm. Hi. If these eyes are looking weird, someone please tell me. No. Oh, wow. Ew. I don't like that as all. Oh my god, this could be the whole stream. Kind of grows on you after time, I think. Seems like there's a lot of sliders for how uncanny every adjustment makes everything look. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, it just looks kind of alien. That looks better. That looks better. That looks much better. Am I making it deeper? Oh, that's deeper. Let's make it not that deep. Oh, here we go. Wait. She looks like a teenager. She doesn't look like some veteran. Oh, man. Let's see if we can fix that with the jaw stuff. 
Lower is good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's give her some weird... Uh, ooh, that actually looks good. I like that. Wait. Not red. Red is... No. Black's also weird. No, 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 no. I, I like the last one. It's hard to design a character customized without ever having touched grass. What? Get out of here. Are you saying I haven't touched grass? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, no. You're calling the, de the designers of this. They said they haven't touched grass. Jesus, man. I thought you were calling me out. I was like, damn. <laughs> this is rude. <laughs> okay, now she looks much older. Okay. Let's... Not too high. This is looking better. Wait, is she getting... She's starting to look like Abby. Oh man, am I just making Abby? Should I just go change her name to Abby? I touch grass, it feels like carpet literally out. Get out of here, Luis. What is <laughs> this is crazy? <laughs> Ooh, no, that's weird. And that looks like the movie Ants. So we're gonna come back over here somewhere. Yeah. Oh my god, this character creator is really in depth. Mm, no. Mm, 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 mm. Can I go back to default? Oh my god, I don't remember what default looked like. That's bad. That's fine. No. This is looking a little bit better. Not much better, but a little bit better. Oh god, I hate that you can kind of see, like, the point where it just, like, kind of shifts on the face. It's all right, nose. <laughs> this is silly. I don't remember spending this much time in the well in the Skyrim one. All I did was put the lizard person. I'm like, that's cool, and then just moved on. <laughs> A little lower. Nope, that's too round. Give her, wait, my friend Aaron, Oblivion NPC energy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Give her a honking schnoz. Schnoz. Wait, ooh, I wonder if I can do that. Wow, that's that's kind of huge. No, 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 no. We're going a little deeper than that. Big old sniffer, <laughs> Aaron. No, I'm not doing that. I mean, she kind of already has one. Or right, whatever. Let's keep going. We already did hair, makeup. This girl do makeup. I mean, she believes in herself, but she's also enjoying herself as a woman, I feel. Really getting girly with it, you know? Sometimes. Every now and then. But in the military, maybe she doesn't. Ooh, no, that's weird. I'm gonna go back to... Actually, that's not that bad. But then everybody is going to comment, like, why do you have such dark lips? <laughs> UI designers be like, yeah, let's make the color selection a slider. Yeah, I know, right? Or Aaron said that. So I'm like, what the? It should just be a color selector. Ooh, ooh wow. She is really getting in on it, huh? No, I don't think she's doing a whole lot of eyeshadow. Just enough. Yeah, that that's good. But the lip color... I wish there was, like... Something darker, but not that dark. What do we think? Aaron. Goth mommy ship. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, no! Profile confirm facial no! Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I... Oh, Jesus. I thought I lost all that work. Oh my god. 
Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Ooh, ooh. I love how you have to have a scar. Oh, wait, no, you don't have to have a scar. <laughs> I thought I lost everything, dude. I was so scared. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Just the smallest scar. It's like Ready Player One where the girl's like, Ooh, I have a very scar. I'm so ugly. What the hell? I actually... I do love that movie. I don't care what anyone says. I think that movie's fun. Hmm. Hmm. Just right across her face. Actually, I think that's not that bad. Kind of looks like... Kind of looks like Kylo Ren. Um, that was odd. Something that looks like... Oh yeah, she's totally effect like she is totally self-conscious about this internally, but she's not gonna let it show ever. I mean, that's just... Yeah, I think that's good. I think I like that. Yeah. 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 I love how they give you a code for it. That's a pretty good code. Okay, anyway. I like it. Profile reconstruction complete. Alan <laughs> giving her insecurity. <laughs> Luis. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's a character. She's got to be a character, right? Damn. Why not? Okay. Um, Identification yeah, this is good. This. confirmed. Uh. Sorry, combat difficulty. Oh, I already did this. I did this before I started looking at all this stuff. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most Hell of yeah, her life. Hell yeah, I just selected that. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. Arbiter. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. Oof. She gets the job done. No matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Uh, That's the I, only I try, kind dude. of person who can protect the galaxy. I hope so. I'll make the call. Dude, he's Keith David is everywhere. I love that guy. He's in the thing. It's one of my favorite movies. Oh, 2014. Uh oh, explores a Mars discovery in Indonesia. The gates follow the mysterious artifact that feels starting. New technologies enabling travel. Look out, oh, basic crap technology is almost controlled. They called the great discovery in human history, the civilizations of galaxy. Call it. That's kind of a weird name to call that kind of thing, but I didn't know that's why the title is. Guys, they did the title. <laughs> Arcturus Prime relays in range. More like Pass Effect. Get out of here. Transmission sequence. Commander. 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 We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Nice. All stations secure. The ship transit. does look cool. I've always liked the design of this ship. Seth Green. I don't know if I right. Board is green. Has Joker? Wait, I, I didn't put Batman in. I actually, I wanted to play Batman during Halloween. That's what I didn't end up doing because of class. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, so that just like shoots me out into the galaxy? Thrusters, then? check. Navigation. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Chris Griffin. Drift. What has he done? Just under 1500k. Has Chris Griffin voices Joker going to Aaron. What, is, what has he done? Is good. Your Ooh. captain will be pleased. I like this guy. I hate that guy. Oh, okay, all right. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Nice. Besides, specters are trouble. 
I don't like having him on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund what an this asshole. project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Uh. You always expect the worst. Not bad feelings. Yes, it's kind of human. She's not gonna be evil or we robotic don't go all the time. Unless there's a good reason. So, what are we doing here? Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks <laughs> We're sound. heading to the Burger Town. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Oh, cinnamon roll. Sorry, Jonathan. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. Thank you for the wings, though. Commander. Uh... Great. You pissed the captain off, and now yeah, I'm Yeah, that's right. It's not it. my fault. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's I thought I was you, captain. Though. Oh, I guess I'm commander, not captain, right? That makes sense. Ooh, mission control. Oh, lieutenant commander. Nice. That's who I am. Speak to the captain of the comms room. Oh, the alliance is government and military man. Okay. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot. Oh, no. There's so much history here. Oh, no. Some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinesis abilities. Oh, I guess that's where that comes from. Uh, liberate human colony on Shaxi. Humans are potential. Biotics. Oh. Okay. Oh no, I got him. I gotta have to know this is. Oh no, no, it's a history lesson. Alright, we're just gonna. Oh no. Personal history summary. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. I might need I should know this. Okay. Uh, my friend Aaron, your character Def doesn't look like Casey Anthony at all. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Born of the naval family, spent childhood in ships and states. Okay, I knew that. After several years in service, you joined the campaign to rid the Skilly Skillian Verge of Batarian slavers and other criminal elements. The final battle came when the Alliance forces laid siege on Torfin, a slaver base built miles below the surface of the Devon Moon. The majority of the human fleet was wasted on the assault and underground bunker. You led the corpse of the elite group to the enemy base. Nearly three quarters of your squad perished in the vicious close quarters fighting, a cost you were willing to pay to make sure not a single slaver made it out of. Yeah, exactly. Forget those people. I think. Uh, should I? I should probably know this time. 2069. Nice. Oh my God, post Hecklin created her. Uh, 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. Nice. Uh, Oschazma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. Nice. Do 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 do. Extraction to Saturn, orbit Pluto. We found the Pro Prothean ruins uh, at Promethe Planum on Mars. Um, humans Sharon a mass relay. System Alliance founded. Led humans to the Sharon mass relay. System Alliance founded to coordinate exploration and colonization in extrasolar worlds. So, okay. Ship and accident. Uh, Singapore National Spaceport exposed downwind communities. Blah 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 blah. I guess that's where the stuff comes to play. Oh my god. I, I was born 2154. Cool. Alright, 2155. Small Alliance occupies. Oh my god, there's so much to read. <sighs> okay, sure. Um, so the thing I did happened five years ago. Cool. Squad. Squad screen lets you and your team talents. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, talent. Okay. Do I, oh, I have three points. Throw. Mm. That might be useful. A barrier. We're getting a barrier now. Adept. Um, optimize their ability. Charm. Intimidate. I want to intimidate and charm. No, my armor. Oh, well. Too late. Wait, I can undo talent points. Can I undo talent? Okay, so I want intimidate. Basic armor. 
charm. Yeah. Increase damage protection, grant the shield. Yeah. Took a helmet. Oh, okay, whatever. No helmet. Cool. Codex was all the stuff. Journal. Speak to the captain. Map. Okay. Equipment. Whoa. Uh, oh. oh, do I have all these right now? Oh. Okay. Assault rifle. Shotgun. Pistol. Sniper rifle. That's what I'm good at. Give me that thing. Uh, anyway, this is a lot going on here. We're just gonna... Whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna sh put that away! Huddle up! Huddle up, everybody. Get over here. Can you put that away? How do I put my gun away? Oh my god, she's an idiot. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marked violent... <laughs> How do I put it away? How do I put away the gun? <laughs> Are you the captain? Okay. Congratulations, Commander. Alex <laughs> Donovan's my guy. <laughs> or with guns. See the captain. Uh. Sounds like you don't trust Arturian guest. Yeah. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think yeah, the Alliance yourself. Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Um... You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. I see. And they don't come along just to observe okay. shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Well, I don't like it either. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. Nice. The I would, hope. The only ship I would hope that's still drive. going on here in the sci fi world. Why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Yeah, probably. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No man, but I can't figure out what he's doing here. So I feel Anderson like this is unnatural conversation. Special just a little bit. Officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You mm. don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Uh, or did the that? I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Thanks. Yelling at me. Oh, oh, I got more stuff in my... Put it away! Oh, that's how you put it away. Okay, cool. Figured out how to put away the gun, everybody. <laughs> it's gonna be important later. Ooh, sensors. Um, on range detection. Okay, I'm sure that'll be important later. Anyway, uh, real quickly, I'm gonna move my face because I don't like where that is. Um, where is the? No. Oh. Can I move my face? Oh, I guess it's too late. All right, well, that's where my face is gonna be forever. That's fine. It's not the kind of place specters visit. Yeah, yeah, you you respect me. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a specter. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill I can talk to anybody? Oh, man. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Uh, okay, I sincerely my dude. hope you're kidding, Corporal. Yeah, right? Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Exactly. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Yeah. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. 
What do you know about the Spectres? Oh my god. <laughs> Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Uh. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Oh, Spectres usually that sounded racist. Oh races, no. Like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Yeah, because we suck. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. Oh, well, thanks. you did on Torfin. That's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, uh, show no mercy. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the mm -hmm, other species. Mm -hmm. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact. I need to learn more about As this for first Nihilus, contact. Though. I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Shouldn't Nihilus matter. once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual specter. Um, Eden You're from Prime. Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real mm -hmm. careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. Nice, dude. Gorgeous. But Sugar Coma Dreams, I got older, did you get that Spectre operate out? Did you me. get that the Spectre operate the outside the lot? Yeah, I hope I got that. Boring after a while. Uh, Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Nice. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's oh my God, so we got a Spectre up. on board, guys, again. Andy works outside the law, ain't that right, Louise? Anyway, you'll do Just fine. treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. Thanks. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Uh... You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Yeah. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yes, Commander, is this something? Oh my god, no, just stop, the captain's please. Waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so I can talk to everybody? Is that what I'm hearing? Galaxy map? Oh, okay. Alright, alright. I'll talk to the guy first. What about you? You guy. Okay, I can't talk to you. What about you guy? I want your armor guy. Okay. Nihilus. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? Yeah, what about? What I'm you want? I'm interested in this world we're going to. I heard you Even work outside the law. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Uh, Proof that humanity okay. can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh, yeah. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Mm -hmm. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Ah, oh, great. This Thanks, Arbiter. far more than a simple shakedown run. That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. Oh. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Uh... He should have told like me. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. At the Burger Town. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. It was Prothean. Uh. What else yeah. can you tell me? This is big, Shepard. This is big. The last big. time humanity made a discovery like this. It jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime oh, doesn't nice. have the facilities to handle something like this. Oh, why not? We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Why? That doesn't make sense. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. 
This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Um. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. That's because we are. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Like hell he is now, that's rude. Uh... Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. Okay. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human <laughs> their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed uh, cool. when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. Everyone That's keeps why saying I put that. your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Thanks. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Uh, let's investigate. What do you know about the Protheans? Oh my god, it's so unnatural. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Mm -hmm. Nobody really knows how or why, though mm -hmm. I've heard plenty of theories. Mm -hmm. But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Nice. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Okay, that's good. Now, tell me about the Why beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, mm -hmm. even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? Yeah, but how do we all speak the we same language? Is my question. Into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the Attican most stable Traverse. sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Mm. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border. Of Nihilus the is so system. cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, plus, Eden Prime is around the border of this area. So the Attican Traverse system? is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. Oh, the great. last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Keep it low key. Tell me about I'd Eden like Prime. to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. But it represents something much bigger. Eden mm -hmm. Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity. I've heard that. Earth. Somebody has said it that already. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Hell yeah. Sounds good. I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Ah, uh, What's ready? wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Oh, no. Bring it up on screen. Oh, of course. Word got out. Get down! Hmm. Did you hear that Spectres operate outside the law? I heard about we that. That's why I'm interested. Heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. We need evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Oh, dang. What are they? Oh no. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Sounds great. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Wow, he already he knew the second. That's cool. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. 
This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly it's the without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Like Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. I'm going in. Oh, those look like a hand. That's freaky. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. I don't know how I feel about that. Pilot, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Okay, I guess. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. The ship does look cool. I really like it. Alright, tutorial time. Oh, I saved. Ship okay, cool. It's like smoke and death. Hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Okay, how do I switch weapons? Jar holds your weapon. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know. They look weird. They look like the flood. Oh. Okay, they're harmless, so I probably shouldn't be shooting them. That's fine. I'm not gonna waste any more ammo on that. But I want to use my other gun. Give me the strong rifle. All right, all right, change my weapon. Aha! Switch weapons for your squad. What does that mean? Whoa! Okay. I guess this is me. I want, I want sniper rifle. Give me sniper rifle, and then you will get shotgun, and you will have regular gun. Move out. So if I tap L1, I okay. If I tap L1, I switch weapons. Cool. Talk to me. Eden Prime will never be the same again. No, it won't. Actually, they look like the ones from Arrival. I mean the ones from Arrival. They look like the Flood more than the things from Arrival. They were, things from Arrival didn't have uh, things around them. Anyway, let's get moving. Stuff over here that I'm gonna say. Come on, soldier. I guess there's no run button. This before sprint became a thing. The hand one does. <laughs> No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but they don't look like... Oh, you mean the ships? Oh, okay, I see what you're saying, I see what you're saying. Whoa, 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 oh, Jenkins! Come on, Jenkins! What are you doing, Jenkins? Are you a rookie? What was that? Did I throw that? I did not throw that. Oh, I did throw that. Ah, oh, Jenkins. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. Oh my God! Come Stop. on. <laughs> aye, aye, man. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> I don't trust any of you people. <laughs> so far, the only one cool is Nihilus. Metagel is needed to heal injury squad members. Omnigel can be used to bypass decryption. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Press triangle to heal your squad. Oh, okay. I didn't know how to look at him, I just had to push it. Cool, so you tell me this guy is gonna drop. Oh, oh, it's on the shooting. Oh, nice, nice, nice shot. Corporal. Whatever your name is. What's your name? Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. 
lot of bodies. Caden. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Oh, I'll gain a level. Uh, Alright, Caden, you're getting a uh, barrier. No, you're getting first aid. Yep, good for you. Yeah, we're, we're wearing a helmet. She knows what she's doing. Wait, so all of the points are shared between both? Ah, oh, that kind of, kind of like, whatever. Um, journal. Continue to the dig side. Codex. Oh, God. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only Don't read that to me. Specters are agents. Did we barely start? Humanity's first contact. Oh, my God. The Humanity's contact first contact. I don't have time for this. We're in the middle of a thing. Oh, issue orders to your squad. Attack. Move to a point or target an enemy. Regroup and follow me. Okay, cool. Oh god, I'm not gonna send him to his death. Not yet. Where? Where, where is he? Where are you shooting at? Oh, wow. nice. Let's move. To your death. What? Oh, you're not gonna listen to my orders Take now? Take out those hostiles! Gotta find them first, Jenkins. Wait, 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 why are you holding a pistol? Oh, wait, you're not Jenkins, <laughs> I forgot. Um... Yeah, dude, it's just here. You're, st you're still alive. Take the Lancer, bro. Come on. Pistol. Oh, sweet. That kid. Not gonna lie, this is a little slow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Jenkins. Or, Caden. Where's the warning? Whoa. What are you doing? We're in a war here. Shoot back. Yeah, yeah, there it is. What? Oh. Ashley Williams. Sup, cuz? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. Real pink outfit you we got there. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Oh, jeez. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned that? <laughs> what an accusation! Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? <laughs> I think they're Geth. <laughs> the Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Mm, okay. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Yeah, let's investigate. Uh... Oh my god, actually... Describe what happened leading up to the No, attack. I don't... <laughs> we sent out a couple of nights it's ago... It's so unnatural! That's... <laughs> the area. Seemed like a routine patrol. Until the Geth hit us. Uh... Never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. Oh my god, They're they all say the same. Oh, you're from school. Forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. 
They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and nice. drove them into exile. Uh, great, good. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Okay, let's just... Tell me everything you know about the beacon. Yeah, that's probably important. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Yeah, it is. We have no idea. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. Yeah, that's if a you good saw point. This guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Oh my god, dude. You're just spreading side. rumors around here. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. All right, let's just go. Let's get out of here. Move out. <laughs> Don't be so rude to her. <laughs> All right, let's go. Wait, oh, I need to know what you're carrying, soldier. Um, spend talent points on new squad members. Do I get the squad members from my dead people or no? Oh, oh, oh you need to be pretty good at assault rifles if you're going to be on my team. Increase health by six. Oh, actually, we'll do that, and then I'll give you a assault rifle skill. Overkill allows burst of assault rifle. Nice, 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 nice. Now, what about myself? Do I not get any skills? Nope. No skills for me. Anyway, let's see what. Oh, more codex. We'll get back to that. Um, I need to know what you're carrying, and you're gonna be carrying the other sniper rifle. Well, stop holding the pistol. What is your problem? No, this is truly weird. Oh my god. Yeah, get, no, 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 you get... It says G. You get, where's the sniper rifle? You get the sniper rifle. I got the sniper rifle, you get the assault rifle. Why are you... Oh, okay, cool. Oh, never mind, never mind. Never mind, never mind. You're, you're doing great, Ashley. Thanks. to the waypoint. Take cover behind the rock. How do I take cover? Oh. Well, there's nothing to fire at. Okay, right, we're moving. <laughs> it's this little chicken walk. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was a good shot. Okay, what's going on here? Um, press R2 to take pop shots. Let's go throw a grenade. Who, who took a shot at me? Let's run forward rapidly while in combat. Oh, there's the run button. Oh, that's... Move out, poor <laughs> <Come on. laughs> uh, Yeah, that's right, Luis. Is... Okay, all right. Well, I guess we're here. Let's do this thing. Investigate the dig site. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have oh, been. Oh no, they took By the who? beacon. Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky, maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay, so let's let's keep going then. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Thanks, Nihilus. <laughs> My friend, maybe the Spectre could figure Looks something like out. They, the they operate right. outside the law. <laughs> it's a good place for an ambush. Oop. Keep your guard up. 
Ew. Oh, they're turning into. Oh, that's. Ooh. Oh, God. They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Ew. Where. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I gotta switch my weapon now. Uh. Oh, shoot. Oh, that shotgun's not very good, huh? Oh, wait, how do we investigate? Can we investigate? I guess not. Ooh, what's this? Upgrade kit. Take that. Um, what? I don't know what that meant. I don't know what that did. Decryption or electronics to access. Squad member has required talent. You'll be able to unlock. Repeat the sequence buttons before time expires. Nice. They operate outside. That reminds me of Soma. I, n I haven't played Soma. I don't know anything about Soma. Humans. Thank the maker. Oh, dude. Hurry, close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this nice. morning. Nice, it's in the spaceport. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack <laughs> Louise, came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Uh. What's wrong with your assistant? Yeah, let's find out what's going on. He has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. No, I don't is think so. Madness to see the future, to see the destruction rush. That is madness. Us, to understand there is no escape, no mm. hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. No. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? Yeah, let's figure out about it's the beacon and then we're gonna get out of here. It's some type of from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Mm -hmm, Who knows mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. secrets are locked inside? Wow, we secrets. Secrets evil. revealed. Awaken the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Oh my God, Mama, my dude. Please, this isn't the time. Uh, no, let's just let's go. Williams. Take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. My friend Aaron, good to lurk, but I hope the stream goes well. Thanks, Aaron. Eternity. Appreciate Hush, it. Hush, Manuel, go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Yeah, dude, kick in that medication. This dude's freaking out. Not about it. Hey, what's in here? Good stuff? Uh, I don't know what any of this is. Oh, okay, I guess I got what's in there. Nice window, I guess. Smells like smoke and death. Yeah, dude, you've said that before. Alright. So we know that the it's at the spaceport. Why haven't we told Nihilus yet? Oh Adds a bionic barrier to his shield that absorbs damage. Yes. I guess I should look at everybody else, make sure they got. Oh, sweet. I got my own set. Great. Perfect. That's what I want. Don't tell me about this throw ability yet, which is unfortunate. Um, next, you.
Yep, good for now. Let's go. Oh, crud, the cutscene. <laughs> and shrugged them harder than usual. I don't know what's up, Luis. <laughs> oh, now let's do something cool. Saren. Uh. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh! Wait, I need my sniper rifle. Wait, 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 give me the sniper rifle. Off in the distance. Stop switching to pistol. That way, please. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> oh! Got him. Oh, my lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Louise, what the heck? <laughs> okay, alright. Cool, so, uh, go over there. I thought I could issue commands. What's going on here? I guess I'm not able to issue commands at this. Oh, oh, oh. Can I really not issue commands right now? I thought that was the whole thing. Okay, whatever. This manually, why not? I mean, at least this mini game's better than freaking Bioshock. Everybody, stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Uh, okay. Is it safe? Are they gone? I say we they're took gone. Care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something uh. out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Crap. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. Yeah, it was Cole. Emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Thanks, Cole. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, mm. it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. That kind of sucks. For sure sucks. Uh, yeah. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. Oh, they were by the God. garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. All right, we're getting out of here. You guys aren't helping. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Yeah, Some Cole. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. I figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Uh... We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? I'm yeah, always the game remember every thing. time you ask the wrong person about the beacon. <laughs> this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Wow, what is this? Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. 
Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. Nice. His name's cool. Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. Uh... I have to go. Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your stuff, by the way. This is... Oh, skill too low. Maybe I can do it right now. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I guess I don't have. Oh, okay. Does anyone else have better skills here? Oh, no, wait, what if I reset your stuff? No, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, I guess that's what I, that's, that's the way them dice roll, huh? RPG and all. We're going this way. What's going on here? Uh, Nihilus. Oh. Oh, no, 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 Nihilus! It's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one oh, got here crud, first. Dude. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Aw, oh, man. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. Oh, man. That beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I... I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind mm -hmm, the crates to mm -hmm. grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Uh, let's investigate. Attack. Uh, tell us about the beacon. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Crates are Saren's weakness. Remember that? <laughs> Uh, actually, this guy's not giving me a whole lot of information, so Cole mentioned you. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? <laughs> a shipment of grenades came through last week. Hell yeah! Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. Wow, you dude, that's son of crazy. A bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. <laughs> A little bit. Okay, all right. Uh, damn, dude, I actually like Nihilus. So I hope that's not... Whatever, let's keep going. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, sweet. Hell yeah. We got some crazy sci-fi music going on too. What's going on back here? 
Whoa, 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 get out of here. Where, 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 where? I need to switch all of your weapons up. Uh, you got that, you got that. You get the shotgun, and I'll get this. Where, 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 where? Yeah, yeah, look at that walk. Power wheel? What? What? about this warp, but I don't really know. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Whoa, that's a lot! Jeez! I use the powers. Nobody told me anything about the powers. Map warp map for what does that mean? Oh 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 the map is somewhere else. Oh that's what that is. Oh lame. Well, figure that out later. Oh, crud. I did not want to do that. Anyway. Uh, you. You, 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 you. Yeah, you use your throw. Use it right there. What is this? Yeah, medical stuff. Oh, crud. Where, 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 where? What does warp even do? Oh. Okay, well. Someone would teach me what these powers do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got him. Uh, yep. Alright. Activate the controls. Let's get going. Yeah. Looking cool, guys. We made it. Set the charges. I hate Destroy this guy. the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Mm. Whoa. Why are you guys standing around like that? It's a freaking war out there. <laughs> Getting ready for battle. Demolition charges. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yep, let's, let's find them. Where, where is this guy at? Oh. Sniper rifle. Yeah. He's got a barrier. Lame.
Can I order someone else to do this, or do I have to? I guess I have to do it. Okay, I want one of you to have this. I won't maintain my... Oh, lame. throw really does to be honest. I haven't I haven't figured that out yet. Alright, let's keep Okay, so what if Oh she's got that burst overkill. Um Sabotage. Sabotage Oh okay cool. Allows you to throw enemies and objects to use mass effect field. <laughs> Adds biotic barrier to your shield. Absorbs damage. Okay. Warp. Damages all nearby enemies and objects and makes them more vulnerable to further damage. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh, this is oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. For two thousand seven. This is pretty. So like, stick your head out. Stick your head out. Aha! Aha! Got him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! No, oh, thanks, guys. Okay, we need to find the explosive. Aha! Is that it? That's all the explosives? Really? Oh, that was fast. Okay. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to go around here. I guess this one. Fatigued! I'm fatigued! Oh, I guess. Oh, okay, alright. Well, this one back this way. Gonna get fatigued again. Go. Oh, okay. I can open this crate. I don't know what any of this is. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I should just do this. Was a little tougher, not gonna lie. Easy encryption. Yeah. That's exactly what we have time for out here. More of this crap. I don't know what any of it is. <laughs> I'm guessing it's weapons. Oh, crud. I didn't mean to heal. Um, let's take a look at equipment. Recoil dampener. Oh. Okay. Combat sensor. Cool, I guess. them all to have better weapons in general.
Yeah, put that on, soldier. Soldier. Give you take that. Take that. Cool. Okay, wait. Oh wait, what am I equipping? Yes. So these are better. Can I sell these? I feel like I have extra guns that I should be able to sell. Damage per second is reduced, but the accuracy is higher. Okay, let's do that one. Oh man. None of these are better? Yeah, none of these are better. Okay. Uh, take the train. Save. Oh, wow. Save. Uh, one more way. Let's get going, folks. Ah, man, another one. All right. How's everybody doing today? In the chat. Luis, how are you doing? Well, how, what was your day like? Doing all right. Things going well. Oh, the beacon. This is the beacon? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Mm. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing going better than Niall's day. <laughs> yeah. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy, standing by. What you got for me? No, don't touch it, you idiot. Oh no. Oh crud. Oh crud. Shut up. Oh. No, don't touch it. It's just Oh, there goes my promotion. I feel like there should be some music here. Oh maybe not. Oh no. This dude took away my promotion. Chef Hard, Chef Tard. What? We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. Huh. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Oh. oh, dude, calm down. Jeez. This human must be eliminated. Jeez, guy. Doctor? Doctor Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Oh good. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? She looks a little too skinny. I don't know. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Yeah, you think? It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities. She's... Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. 
but I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. Beta waves? Oh, man, I, I just turned to a beta. I also noticed an increase Crap. in rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Nice. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Mm. Hmm. What, what do you mean? To add this to my report, oh, you? I see. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our Captain XO Anderson. holding up, Doctor? Oh. Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to Captain hear. Shepard. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Uh, I kind of like need my doctor. Pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the veil in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Whatever. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Mm, yeah, okay. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Sure. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Yeah, okay, sure. We don't know that. Well, actually, it was his own fault. But we need to talk about... You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? Yeah, we are in private. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Rogue. He's rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Yeah, rogue specter. Saren's <laughs> dangerous, and he <laughs> hates words. humans. Oh man, he hates humans. Why? Because he was in the first contact war. growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. The beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? No idea. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. Well, if you keep calling them aliens. A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints mm. for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But Damn I know Saren. Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he Dang. won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. Yeah. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Dang. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. You think that have already happened want to by see now. us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Louis. He has the secrets of the beacon. I forgot how silly this game is. Wait, I thought you said you didn't. No, wait, I think you did play this. Louise, did you play this before? How many did you play? Did you play all three? I mean, admittedly, it is pretty silly. Okay. Give me my gun. Okay, I guess I don't have my gun. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Caden, Commander, I'm glad to see you're, you're reckless. Okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew. The first two, okay. 
I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I don't know about that. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The yeah, Serial right. Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? You a career yeah, man? Yeah, biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Oh. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Nice, bro. Eventually. Nice. But is that why you're here? Because of your father? Also paid for college with it. Uh... I was a regular Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Okay. Oh, that's right. Torfin. A messy business. I imagine that bought you a new post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The captain's briefing was confidential. Understood, ma'am. Yeah, Whatever stop happens, asking questions. Ready, Commander. Asshole. Okay. Ashley, welcome aboard. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Uh... No, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. Okay, That's that was rude. Commander. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Not after Torfin. That must have been hell. No, I don't start to enjoy it. I did what I had to do. You'd better be willing to do the same. I won't let the Alliance down, sir. Good. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I'm pretty extreme on both sides of the aisle for this. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Mm. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Sure. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Don't disappoint me, ha! <laughs> mm, yeah. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Don't disappoint me. Bitch, how do you know about Jenkins? Right, that's right, Luis, right? I don't whatever. Look at this guy. You're a little old, aren't you? You wanna fix that hairdo? Okay, whatever. He looks like Cheech, or is it Chong? No, it's Cheech, right? He looks like Cheech. Oh, Dr. Chalkin. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Personal question. How did questions. you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Nice. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. Oh, I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. Mm, okay. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. Yeah, wh why would it be that? But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Inspiring. I did my part. I'm doing my part. That's how it is. That's the quote. Any regrets? No, I don't want to do that. Um, Captain Anderson. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to like himself, voice. though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Mm. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Oh my god, Severe so mental unnatural. disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Good for Caden. Uh, what do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. 
He knows where to let things slide and where to crack the whip. Nice. The Good crew night. knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Nice. I'll try to be like that. That sounds like a good I idea. Go. Goodbye, Commander. Bye. Woo! Nice. Get away from me, Caden. You screwed up this mission, Caden. I'm not gonna take the elevator. I can just walk. Come on. Cardio. How do you think Shepard looks so good? Nav manual. Uh, okay, well, I got codex for that, so that's good. Let's see how calm like. That's where I'm supposed to go. I guess I'll just mess around with it. Ha ha! I think I'm supposed to go here to the Citadel, right? Only commanding officers may specify a destination for the Normandy. Okay, okay. I understand. Joker, let's get going, huh? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh, gee. Oh, oh, that ended it? Dang. Okay, all right. Oh, well. Nice. The ship is cool. I really like the ship. Whoa. What's the flower? Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy. Request I don't like that zoom in on his face. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. Nice. Dang, this remember Nihilus? Outrage! What the shame. Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Dang. The was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Yeah, bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew. Let me go, I'm a loose cannon. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. Oh, man, I assume I like they're accurate. They are. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Dang, Commander. all right, calm down, You've Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The evil voice, nice. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Dang. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Mm hmm We hate them all. 
Uh, important locations are marked on your map. Map. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I in this map? Oh, I'm right here. Okay. Point of interest. Transition. 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 Point of interest. Point of interest. Okay. Oh, this is going to walk around. Why don't I have just a mini map in this kind of area? What do you do? I just wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, let's pack into the Citadel. <laughs> the Council of Ricks. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's keep this going. Whoa, what are you people? These allegations are very serious. I can This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence and her alone. And she betrayed that confidence. Whoa. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything. What is going rash. on here? Say something. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Uh... I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Okay. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. Okay, I don't know if I want to do this. My <laughs> He's right. It's boring me. <laughs> shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it, <sighs> we were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. Nice. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. Mm. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Mm. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Nice, nice. Uh... What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. I love that guy. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. This guy's awesome. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they mm. join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip. You know, I wasn't into this again. in the first, but now I'm really interested to hear you about this guy. You humans are new to the Citadel, you and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Mm, rebuke. Your species has always been granted many concessions. 
This guy is territory awesome. has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. Nice. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. I see. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Let's talk Hello to you. There, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted. I love this. This is so... You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Oh. Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Oh damn. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Nice. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I thought <laughs> I'd be telling the history you just of say their people. emotions before every it sentence. It is agreeable so to funny. share our culture with others. I really like it. Uh, yeah, Tell history. me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Nice. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Nice. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space uh, I travel. See. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our nice. government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Yeah, I can tell. What do you do here? Modestly. Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! Huh. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Oh, man. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. I see. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You this don't guy's an really asshole. believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Wow. Love that species. That was great. I'm jazzed. This is awesome. Um, I know that there is a DLC mission here in the Citadel that activates at a time that I shouldn't be doing it. If somebody in the chat could figure out where that is so I don't do it, that would be great. But I'm not sure if that's this game or the second game. I'm pretty sure it's this game. C-Sec Academy. Um, I don't know. Where, where am I actually supposed to go here? Oh, okay. Destination. Uh, let's zoom out. Oh, okay. Well, I can't zoom out anymore. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, journal. Journal tells me where I'm supposed to go. Go to the Hydra system in Argos Road Cluster and investigate. I think I'm supposed to go down this way. Put the gun away, man. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be. 
Greetings and welcome to the Presidio. Oh my God, my so name is going Alina, on here. and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Uh... So, are you a person or a program? That's a good question. I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence nice. program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted oh. through any of the Presidium VI terminals should you require oh, assistance. Water. Oh, I got water. Yes. Sounds interesting. Well, that sounds interesting. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel mm -hmm. races, mm -hmm. along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Nice, nice, nice. Uh. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Mm -hmm. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Krogan Rebellion? Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of what the galactic community. What can you tell me about the Chinese people? Get out of here, Louise. Get out. Each species. <laughs> uh, it can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. Yeah, it's called bureaucracy. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Uh, you know what? I think... Yeah, talking about specters. specters? The term specter is derived nice. from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal mm -hmm. political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Specters answer to no law or authority except the council itself. Oh, good. They don't. They don't. You hear that, Louise? Spectres, they're above the law. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep going. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Go to CSEC Academy. Go to Citadel Tower. Well, then I suppose go to CSEC. Citadel Rapid Transit. Use Citadel Rapid Transit to travel quickly between major locations as you explore the Citadel. More locations will unlock. Financial District. Towards Citadel. What's your problem? What's your problem? Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, put that away, Shepard. Jesus. Okay, well, I'm trying to run here. Is it X? Oh my god, the Citadel is huge. What is going on here? Oh my god. I wish the map button was. Okay, anyway. Um, the map. Okay, where do I go for that? While on the Citadel, you uncovered Alliance Patrol Report. One of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system, Argos Cluster. Okay, whatever. Um, you have to prove the Citadel Council Saren when a tech case has gone rogue. Go to the tower. Okay. And the tower is over there. I, I should probably go to the across the bridge to talk to that guy, but we'll start with the mission over here or whatever the interest thing is over here. Look at that bug thing oh. over there. Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. Mm -hmm. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Mm. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the keepers, the Man, enigmatic I wish I could see her. It's kind of hard to see her. <laughs> You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout uh, all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. 
Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties. Incarceration and rehabilitation. Incarceration Wonderful. And rehabilitation. Uh, I'd like to know more about the keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Okay. Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Okay, I just want to know about their species. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. Mm. The keepers also make frequent appearances in the council chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. All right, let's get out of here. That's all for now. Thank you do, for do, using do, Avina. Do. Have a pleasant day. All right, so let's... Oh my god, I wish I could move the camera while I'm running. That would... That'd be really helpful. Oh, she walked away, dude. You broke her heart. Wow. Transition. Oh, so did I work. Oh, that's fast travel. Fast travel. I don't need that right now. Barla Vaughn. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were huh. at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. Uh. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name Barla is Barla Bon. Bon. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking for which the what mission is the spoiler one uh, that I should be avoiding. Um, talk about the What's Citadel. It like living here on the Citadel. The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel space together in a single strong community. Mass Effect, tell me about the Presidium. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This yeah. level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. Wow. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Uh. These players are going nice piece blah 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 blah. But what is the proper order? Bring down the sky. The only DLC that players need to worry about in Mass Effect is the Bring Down the Sky DLC. Since the other DLC was not included because the data was gone, I know about that. Uh, the pack is one of the smaller DLCs in Mass Effect and can be available to players right after they get control of the Normandy. Okay, I don't have control of the Normandy, so I think we are on track here. Cool. Maybe it's a different game that I'm worried about the, the DLC for. Anyway, what else you got, Tommy? Personal Tell questions. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. Mm, I'm sure. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. 
I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. Nice. Good for you, man. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Mm. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Yeah, that was pretty shady, my dude. I gotta say. I <laughs> only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Yep, that's how I feel. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Mm-hmm. Oh, I leveled up. Yay! Oh, I'll figure that out later. Let's keep going around here. What is that thing? Emporium shopkeeper. Ah, human. Whoa, this one is this greatly cool. pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Mm, very nice. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Show me your wares. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Few non-human armors? No, 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 no. Only humans here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's way too expensive for me. Back. Wait, no, not, not, not leave. Oh, no. Commander, uh... it is good to see you again. Would you care to see yep. some of its fantastic items today? I think I'll be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. Talk. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Decadent Show Aquarium is what I call my bedroom. Get out of here, Luis. What the? <laughs> oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Uh, standard items? Yeah, let's do that. Whoa. Shotgun. Ooh, medium armor. Medium armor. Too expensive for me. All of it's too much pressure. Hmm. Search a foundation license? I don't know what that is. I'll take it. Alright, oh, whatever. Oh my god, put the gun away, girl. Jeez. Why are you so angry? Oh no. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Mm -hmm. oh, here in the tourism. financial district, a number here. of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. Nice. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the council. Uh, that's probably Tell me more about, about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the council. Over the next Wait, 400 the, years, uh, the Krogan sense. species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Mm -hmm. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other council species. The mm -hmm. Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. Interesting. Okay. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? Uh -huh. I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council, 
They sure. are not a threat to galactic sure. peace. That's all for now. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sure. using Avena. Have a pleasant You're day. Welcome. Uh, oh, another one of those guys over there. Oh, shoot him. No, okay. Uh, look at the map. I think it's time to just get about... Wait, no. I, I met a random guy over there. What do I want to meet more random guys? Let's take a look. There's a lot going on here. I mean, truly. Don't talk to the Keeper. What are you... Welcome. I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? A consort? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Okay. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. Usual She's really sense. A, woman, a woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. Hmm. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Uh, what do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today acolyte. will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. Okay. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. <laughs> Excellent. That's not what I thought she was going to say. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. What do you do here now? Oh, no, I already asked that. I'm Come one on. of the more, consort's more, 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 more. acolytes. Can I skip? Can I skip? Many of the p it's I think job. I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I Whoa. wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Oh, camera's getting... soft. Angles. Huh. It appears the consort has taken <laughs> notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. You'll see what why. does she want to see me for? Uh -huh. <laughs> getting yourself. nervous. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Hell yeah. Sup, what's going on here? Okay. Sup, what's going on here? I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Oh, okay. Is this a strip club? This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Oh, okay, all right. This is a strip club. Maybe I should have just left. Well, let's just talk. Let's see what happens. <laughs> to think, we could be saving the galaxy. <laughs> that is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. Oh, that's rude. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have mm. a friend, Septimus, oh, I to say it. a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Oh, great. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened yeah, between Yeah, tell me more about what I went wrong here. I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to a sense of honor. 
Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading that's lies weird. about that's me, that's weird. That's weird. Weird convinced. angle. Weird angle. Weird angle. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. That was weird. Please, Commander. I ask that you return. Very to weird. The Didn't like how that was handled at all. Acceptance. Hope that's handled more centrally in future games. Because that was just weird. Sup, Tendon? The Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Nice. Good for you, human. High five. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. You better be. Okay, alright. Let's see. What can we do now? Well, I guess we'll go this way. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, um... Oh my god, those guys really are everywhere. We're going back to the tower. It's time to get this mission going. No more going on. Oh my god, there's more. Nope, there is no more going on there. Already went to that room, talked to that guy. Maybe I should fast travel. This is getting slow. Citadel Tower. Love it. Oh, they already they brought me inside the tower. That's weird. Well, I guess I'm inside the tower now, so. Saren's hiding something. Oh, Give Garrus. me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. You don't like me, do you, Garrus? Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But mm. I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think oh, the council's okay, nice. ready for us, Commander. No, I want to talk Good to this guy. Sure. No, no, Maybe come on, let's... listen to you. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Uh, I like to talk. Glad Garrus is getting shit done. I need that attitude on my team. Gotta shoot people. You look like you defend the Emperor. Pew! What you got going no, on? I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Commander. Okay, thanks. Wait, is there something going on over there? Doesn't look like anything's going on over there. Oh, okay, finally. Let's get this story going. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. Get at him. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. That's a bit aggressive. That's not what I was looking needs for. To learn its place, Shepard. 
You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. What? Whoa, we're moving fast the... in this conversation. Are we Come on. dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the point? You won't see the truth. Uh... You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, Damn. your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Her vision, this though, is adjourned. was not admissible in court. Uh, Louise, I'm so gay for Gareth, to be honest. Yeah, it's cool. Well, that didn't go well, but I assume that was never going to go well for me. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Jesus. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Mm. Yeah. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where I we can find him? I don't trust him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. That loser? <laughs> I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Hmm. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the world. Dingy little club. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The, the Shadow, Shadow Broker? Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. Mm. Yeah, you and going. Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. God, there's so much I was dialogue. part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw Yeah, you're such a good guy, Arbiter. No I conscience. Like you. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Mm. Well, it is war. Uh, so would I. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Um, Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. Mm. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is, or maybe they are. 
Nobody really knows. <laughs> really? <laughs> um. Um. Let's talk about You don't Harkin. think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Oh, got him. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Hi, Luis. Yeah, dude, a lot of dialogue. Definitely an RPG. Definitely. Maybe I should just have, like, an RPG day so that I can go through this. And then when I'm done with this, I can go through Cyberpunk. That way, I have other games to play. I, I feel like... I need to have one game that I'm like constantly going through and then like other days I'm like doing something else for streams but I was also thinking about doing a couch co-op stream at some point but we'll have to wait to see on that I gotta talk to people and figure out how to do that with the just PS5 streaming um they abandoned I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans Harkin may be human but he's also an ass he's had more <laughs> than his share of chances if the embassy wasn't protecting him he would have been fired 15 years ago CSEC is better off without him. All right, well, I guess... Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when right, we run yeah. into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. I don't know about that, but yeah, I guess. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was oh, wait, 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 wait. Saren eliminated. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No oh, so would I. No, okay, all right, I gotta go. kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay, so. Harkin, Shadow, and uh, our boy Garrus. Garrus first, I think. Unless Garrus will just... There we go. There we go. Let's talk to Garrus first. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, I got upgrades. Yeah! Yes. I have to be good at dialogue immediately. Are you kidding? That's the first thing we should always be good at. Unlock stasis. Increase barrier duration. Unlock pistols. Unlock lift. Advanced warp. I want to throw people, so that's what we're doing. All right, cool. And there's just so many. Rough. Oh my God, why does this start reading it to me now? When the Volus are a member species, after the Geth secure a location, they round up an. Imp uh. The Council. The Terminus. Biot, a virtual. Kinetic barriers, more commonly. Shields. Kinetic. Oh, it's secondary. That's what. Uh, oh man, how do I look at secondary? Okay. Oops. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Investigate Saren. Speak to Harkin. Go see Barlow Bob. You guys all right? What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. 
Oh, okay. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them. This guy's but weird. the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. <laughs> yeah. I can help you out. I'm not worried oh, about no, the authorities. What? I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. For the shadow we've seen them broker. Everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. This guy is weird. Oh. Species is cool though. Alright, well, got one. Anyway, we still gotta find our boy. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. Humans are making us strong. You can bet the Volus will be right on their coast. Uh let's look at the map. Uh so he's outside. I only got like an hour left to stream. Okay. Come on, squad. We're moving here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just take me down. Take me down. Is there elevator music? Is that what I'm hearing? That's hilarious. The council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. <laughs> oh, we got ourselves a keeper. Where is this guy? I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right. Wait, what? what Where's that dialogue coming from? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Okay, I see what's going Failure on. Failure to right, follow right, the regulations right, right. I was kind of lost on what was going on. results in the forfeiture of the license. Uh. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. Yeah. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Okay. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Uh. 
This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the hen our language and gave the universe the mass relays. Oh, okay. Hmm. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. This is unworthy of you. Uh, well, I guess I don't have those. Could I buy you a permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? I don't know. Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. Oh, you don't want to. Okay. However, this one also does not possess the 150 That's credits it? necessary to purchase the permit. Another money grabber. Just take 150 it. credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I only gave you the money because I like you as a jelly. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Please now, give me 150. Excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Oh, sweet. Med gel. Love that. Now, let's scan this guy. Oh, are you? Okay, right. well, how would I find... Wait, is that him? That's not him. Where do, I, where do I find our boy? Oh, he would be in CSEC, I assume. Oh, there's the bank. I should probably go to the bank. Let's go. Uh, fine, I'll talk to the bank. I really want to talk to Garrus first. But that's okay. Luis, what are you doing right now? Talk to me. I know you're out there, Luis. Doing shady things. But what shady things are you doing? Barlevon, I'm back. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know nice. something about Saren. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. So I am going to let you have it for free. Awesome. Perfect. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business. Until Saren turned on him. Ooh. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. All right, you don't get to no be cocky. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. A Krogan mercenary? That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Mm. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with yeah. c -Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Sounds good. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. Oh my god, I just want the I want the touchpad to be select and I want it to be a map. I feel like that's not a hard ask. Anyway, I guess we're going to C-Sec. Oh, 
Okay. Well, that was useful, but... Jeez, come on. Seasec Academy. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Oh my lord. Okay, Seasec HQ, Embassy Lounge. This way. Let me see receptionist. No, I don't need to talk to receptionist. Let's just go. This way. This correct way. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Uh... Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. There we then go. Can you tell me what you know about Garrus? Garrus Vicarian? Good officer. Very good, in fact. But he needs to learn some patience. Mm. You'd think an officer of the law would be a bit more mindful of rules and regulations. Can you, like, look at the screen? Was there anything else? Uh, I'd like to know where he is. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. The yep. Council wants to make humanity their new Sounds favorite. Sounds about right. I really like this species. Business. This species is cool. But I don't have to. I just like how they sound and how they look. Uh. The council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. Yeah, dude, they're We're awesome. Civilian government agency, though <laughs> Luis, what are you doing? Come on, tell me about your day. Come training. on, what you doing? Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. All I'll right. be going now. Goodbye, Commander. How to find Garrus, dude. Where the hell is Garrus? NASA. Are you NASA? Who's NASA? You're NASA. I need to find... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Bartender. Bartender, give me a few drinks. I'm trying to get drunk. No. Where the Where is Garrus? I'm supposed to find Garrus. I guess I'm just going to go to the CSEC Academy. Maybe that'll give me better luck. Oh, my lord, again. Consort Bank. Citadel Tower. Can I go? CSEC officer might be able to help. Oh my god, that's... Go to Chora's Den in the lower wards and speak with Harkin, a CSEC agent. Okay, but what about... Go see Bar Levon. Got it. Speak to Rex. Seasick like Academy. Okay. Okay, okay alright, alright, alright. Okay, alright, alright. So, the easy place to go to is Seasick like Academy. Put the gun away. You look like a jerk. Map. I oh, wonder if it's over there. Anything cool over here? Oh my god, one of you guys. Love you. No, I'm not talking. Let's get going. I wish the run was endless. I'm kind of upset that the run isn't endless. You think it would be?
Jeez. Okay. I will start using fast travel a lot, because this is getting ridiculous. They could have just made the sprint, like, last forever. I feel like that wouldn't have been a hard ask. Oh my god, let's just... Give me the transit, give me the transit. Uh, wards. No, back. I don't want to go towards down. I want to go to... No, that's not... Son of a bitch. Where am I? Lord. Why is this game so difficult? My phone died immediately after you asked how my day was going. Well, Luis, I hope your day is going good. Alright, let's, let's freaking get on. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. Yes. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the gaff on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Jesus, what is wrong with you people? Alright, here we go. There he is. Oh my god, dude. What else is going on in here? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your <laughs> only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Jeez. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Uh. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. The council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. Guy's what about Garrus? Also that's cool. Him. He like wants this to guy. take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. All right. Nice. Nice. Oh no. Oh, I want Rex on my squad. You tell me I can only have three at a time. Sorry, we need we need tech strength right now. Sorry, Ashley. 
or whatever your name is. Yeah, Ashley. Wait, let's start. Let's let's add some squad stuff going on here. Um. Oh, <laughs> he's already got ten stuff. Um. Uh, move on. Okay, what's going on? What's going on around here? Should I investigate? I should probably have been. Oh man. I'm just gonna question the officer. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Who wants to know? Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. All right. Oh, that's right. I don't have a whole lot of money. Give me stuff. Lab's license. Increase maximum number of grenades carried by one. Hydra, lightweight, comfortable. I don't have enough money. Okay, we're gonna save money. Boop, boop. Okay, here we go. This is taking a while. We gotta get this going. So we found him. What's over here? Elevator to wards. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist <laughs> that Eden Prime was an isolated case. This Nevertheless, image is weird. colonist enrollment has wow, dropped sharply. Wow, Caden fucking sucks many though. Jeez. Many proposals are on hold <laughs> until Luis, come on. some reassurance that Caden's human colonists will power. be adequately protected. This guy looks like a jughead. Right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the war? Jenkins should have made it out. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah. Up, up, up. That's... Okay, cool. Get to C-Sec Academy. I don't need to go to C-Sec Academy. Now we need to go to... Med clinic. Oh, the, the Garrus is going to the med. I want to talk to Harkin first. Talk to Garrus last. The Presidium. Emily Wong. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but mm. there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? Yeah, right? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. 
How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? It already you wouldn't that. be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. Whoa, 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 whoa. they're slavers, to get come their on. Hands dirty. Someone who'll do what needs to be done. That's, That's weird. you. Yeah, we'll do, we'll see. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Okay, and she just walks off this camera. Uh, what is this? What, I gotta look at this map. Again, I hate going to the... What is this? Store. Clinic. Wait, where's the... Predium. Lower, lower wards. Okay, I guess I should just... Yeah, I'll go to lower wards. Forget it. Okay, I only got like 20 more minutes. So we're gonna talk to Hawkins, then we're gonna talk to Garrus, and then we're done. There's a club. Oh, ooh, getting all that club music. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Uh. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work I just keep picking up side quests, don't I? She is. She's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume CSEC is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Uh. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Mm -hmm. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jennifer's, for Jennifer's safety. safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Coristan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Should I be gambling? I think somebody rigged this machine to funnel credits through the system. Let me trace a signal. What? <laughs> Places like this always want to hire Krogan bouncers. Looks like we're a status symbol for them. What am I supposed to be doing? Okay, what's going on here? Uh, oh my god. That's later. Ask him to stop spreading rumors about the consort. Okay, scan the keepers. I've been doing that. Look for information. Uh, talk to Jenna. Cores Den. So, two cores Den. Signal seems to be coming from the ward's access corridor. Am I in Cora's Den? I thought I was in Cora's Den. Where am I? Oh, I'm in flux. Hey, good to see you have a human in here. Ew. <laughs> Story is really urgent, but they throw side quests at you like crazy. Yeah, dude, I'm not like... 
I mean, side quests are nice and all, but like, jeez. Cyberpunk has the same problem? Oh, man. That's kind of lame to hear about. Okay, all right, all right, all right. What is it? Presidium. I assume this door will take me to the lower decks? Uh, maybe I should go to the alleyway. Something's going on in the alleyway, right? There's like a signal thing. Well, I guess we're just focused on side quests this time around. Do I gotta help these people too? Follow Shopper. Commander Ver Conrad Werner. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Oh my god, Prime. another freaking. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Uh. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Okay, asshole. Hey, uh, I know you're now probably I'm busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Um, what am I signing? Here you go. That's really weird. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Okay, guy. That was weird. Oh, I guess this isn't going to take me to the alleyway. What about the alleyway? Well, this core is den. Okay, I want to go back to see about that alleyway. I said this is access to the alley. Oh, my God. His wife is a big fan of military commanders, hey man. They're out there. I'm sure they are. Wait, so this is to the Presidiums. But if I go, can I go get the alleyway? So that's what we're trying to get to, is the alleyway. So I'm going, aha! Some sketch happening over here or no? Core's, oh, I, okay, I guess we're just gonna go to Core's Den just like that. Where am I? Lower markets, okay. You know what? All right. Wait, who's this guy? Is this guy another human that's gonna be like, mm -hmm. you're Commander Shepard, huh? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> Imagine marrying someone and then finding out they're a big fan of the military. <laughs> it happens, Louisa. <laughs> he probably knew before they got married. Alright, Cora's Den. It's got a nice CD. Look out! Whoa! Alright, 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 alright. You're getting. You're getting the sniper rifle. I'm getting the sniper rifle. Take him out! going on here
Did I detonate it? Oh, I detonated it. That's what it is. your weapons. Mr. Rex? Or dirt or not Rex. Or not Rex. Seems like you got everything you need, Rex. And I don't got anything for you. Okay, so, um... Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. Nice. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, shoot. Renegade two points. Oh, crap. That's not what I want. Anyway, what is it? Okay. All right. Well, I guess... It says there's action items here, but I guess not. So we're just going to keep going. I'm doing this for Rex. This is all making sense now. Oh, crap. Damn it. Resume? I forgot to save. All me. Oh, what? I gotta start all the way from here? Oh, man. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, let's prepare now. Huh? Um, you're getting the sniper rifle. You're getting the lancer. I'm getting the sniper rifle. Um, let's start with the ability wheel. I'm going to... Get... Warp ready. Warp. Reload. Damages enemy shields. Certain radius. Cool. I just want to know what's going on here. Here we go.
Oh wow, I can shoot this guy from all the way over here, huh? I love the sniper rifle. I'm doing so good with the sniper rifle. Who even needs these explosives? All right, same Stop procedure. Right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. Take him out. Oh. Not what I was expecting. That might come back to bite me in the ass. Um, we'll take this one. Why do I have to do everything myself? Wait! Don't kill me! I surrender! Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait! I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Mm. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. This guy's haircut is. Uh, Even I don't yeah. know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Luis, what were you expecting? I was expecting a conversation. I, did, I thought the colors meant like final decision. I was expecting conversation. Um. Give me the location now. You're on the wards, the back alley by the market. Should have made my character a little bit more intimidating. Right now, you can make it if you hurry. Now it's his mission. Oh my God! The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Hmm. I am in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? That Quarian is dead if we don't go now. Before it's too late. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Before it's too late. Oh, no. Where? That's, I guess I, guess I gotta go there later. Uh, I wish I could see the other parts of the map. Ah, God. Someone shoot him. What the? What happened? Oh man, all right, well, I gotta get back in there. Shoot, I only got 10 minutes left, damn. Oh, 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 go, oh, 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 faster. Oh, wait, it's here. Crap. Can I go out that way? 
No fuck. Run! Dealing with that booby trap again. Okay, where is she? Where is she? Where, is she? where are we supposed to go? I forgot where we're supposed to go. Uh, save the querent. Uh, the men have set a trap for the querent. You have to get to the alley before they kill her. Okay. All right. Let's go. 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 Is this alley? I assume it's this alley. Yeah. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh, she can defend herself. She's fine. Who are these things? These things are weird. You poor Just keeper. Set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to yeah, him. Yeah, he got what was coming to him. Then I guess there him. are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? Hey, I gotta try not to die again. <laughs> Get out of here, Louise. Um, I'll say a friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. They'll want to see this anyway. Nice. Mission accomplished. I still gotta get the... You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up and I'll tell you. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians Tali here. Zora Naraya. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. Learning when about we reach people. maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. Nice. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Uh... What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Nice. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. What kind of evidence did you find? How'd you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of death. Oh my god, geth. this is... <laughs> this conversations are a little bit more natural. Exile, the geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of geth to an uncharted world. Yeah, I waited nice. for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, Ooh. careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. 
Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Sorry to get quiet when the story is all heavy. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. I like how Jax is just in the back, just standing alone. there. Oh, he wasn't working alone, huh? Oh. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Could have played the, the whole conduit. thing the first time. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years oh, ago. That's a long the time Reapers ago. hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Oh. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. Really? That's I saw what, the that's Protheans being wiped out concluding by the from the vision? The Geth oh. revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Okay. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. Yeah, he's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. You're not ready for this. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Mm. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the. Town. And I gotta find Garrus, my boy. Okay. All right. So you're in my squad. What? What do you do? All right. You're in my squad, Tally. For now. And. I guess we gotta bring Ashley back. Ooh. Oh, because it's just them two. Oh, well, I guess goodbye, Ashley and Caden. <laughs> Eat ass. <laughs> Alright, I think we're about to stop. Yeah, it's probably a good time to stop. I need to get out of here. Alright, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we played for about three and a half hours. That's a pretty long one. Um, closing speech. Yeah, so, uh, my name's Alan. I play on Mondays. Uh, I try to... At least I try to play on Mondays for at least three hours every week. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the views. Uh, we have a 40 follower... Uh, what's it called? A 40 follower achievement that we're aiming for. When we hit 40 followers, that'll be the next LEGO stream. I did a Lego stream at 30 followers. I'm going to be doing another one for 40 followers. Don't know what I'm going to build yet. Built an ATAT -T, AT -AT last time. Uh, and I think I'll be playing this game again either next week or in the days to come. Uh, so look out for that. Thank you for watching. Please like, follow, subscribe, comment. I'll take any, I'll take any comments you got. See how I can improve. But appreciate the views. Have a good night, everybody.